can you kind of uh, just describe uh, for us what you think you're going to bring as a player? Um, and uh, one of the Browns uh, scouts was just on, and he was talking about your uh, ability as a pass catcher and how uh, you've been really consistent with that over, you know, the course of your, uh, you know, college career. How did you mm -hmm. develop that? Uh, you know, give us some insight into what makes you uh, a guy who's known for that. Um, first off, I, I feel like I can bring a, a lot of versatility to the team, uh, lining up anywhere I'm asked uh, and, and really lining up wherever, whatever I need to do to win and to help the team. And uh, really just developing as a pass catcher, uh, not playing tight until my senior year of high school. It was um, really in my freshman and sophomore years that I really focused on developing, just learning how to run routes and uh, become a better pass catcher and a lot of help from my position coaches, uh, you know, the receiver coaches and also the other tight ends at FAU. We had a really close bond and, and one of our other tight ends who was a really great route runner. And he, I just got to work with him and, and he taught me a lot of good things and, and now it's uh, worked out for me. Harrison um, really impressed us throughout the – the spring, I mean, starting at the senior bowl and then working through the combine and up to some of the uh, post combine virtual stuff we did. I mean, he's a really blue collar young man. Uh, work ethic is great. He's going to bring really good leadership. And then just as a football player, uh, you know, his pass catching ability is probably what stands out the most. You'll probably hear that a lot, but he's an athletic, uh, natural, sure handed guy, uh, really tough and competitive after the catch. So, you know, it got to a point where we were staring at the board and, and you kind of couldn't ignore the fact that he was still up there. Extremely excited to join uh, this group of tight ends, uh, two really, really, really good tight ends. Uh, I've watched a lot of tape on Hooper as well as Najoku. So just to, to come in and join this group and, and just to be able to do whatever I can to help produce and you know make the tight end room successful, I'm ready to do. Just knowing uh, how Coach Stefanski and um, in his recent play calling years and, and the OC's play calling years, how they use tight ends, uh, just coming into that situation with some other great tight ends uh, and just being able to be in three, two tight end sets with them is just going to be a really cool situation and just ready to go to work. I don't think we can have enough uh, good players, first and foremost, and especially at that position with with the uh, some of the packages and, you know, sets that we're going to use in Kevin's offense. Um, you know, this, this isn't any indication on Njoku's future or Steven or anyone else's. I think you just continue to try to add good players in the right spot and uh, add competition and, and see how it works out. You know, we're still pretty optimistic about Njoku's future and like the things that Carlson did. But, uh, you know, we think any type of competition and anything that can help our roster get better, we're gonna, we're gonna uh, take a look into it. Yeah, I don't think it hurts to uh, make the head coach happy. Uh, you know, he's got a, a strong affinity for that position. Uh, but I just think, you know, with this election, like I said earlier, he just kind of stuck out uh, on our board based on where we had him. And, uh, you know, you know, obviously we want to add talent to the roster, add competition, guys that can produce in the passing game. He kind of checked off significant uh, number of boxes. And, you know, that's why it kind of worked out the way it did.